All right, guys, this is the OnePlus 8 Pro. It is the best edition that you can purchase. It has 12 gigabytes of RAM. It has 256 gigabytes of storage. It's this amazing blue color. Taking a look at this phone, you can see there is a little bit of a, a camera hump there on the back there. So you're definitely gonna wanna put a case on it. Otherwise it's gonna kind of rock. At the bottom of the phone, you get a USB-C and a speaker, as well as where you would pop in the uh, SIM card. On the right hand side you have the power button and you also have a alert switcher so to turn the volume on and off and mute it, vibrate, all that stuff. At the top you just have a microphone and uh, the antenna lines. On the left hand side of the phone you have volume up and down and that's pretty much it. Gorgeous phone. This blue color is amazing looking. I think they did a great job with this amazing, amazing, amazing blue color. It's, it doesn't get fingerprinty, as you can see. I'm, it's just great. That's awesome, I think. And you see OnePlus branding there and at the bottom as well. Just a great design. Putting the phone off to the side, let's take a look at the box. OnePlus 8 Pro. OnePlus. OnePlus. I really like this box. It is really tall and thin though. It's interesting that they put it in such a tall of a, such a tall box. The phone was obviously sitting in there earlier. I set it up though. The phone, just to tell you a little bit, I did set up the phone uh, in terms of downloading all my apps. I haven't logged into all the apps, but we will go through the phone after I uh, do this unboxing. Here we're gonna find just terms and conditions. Stickers should be in here as well. Okay, so let's see what everything they included. They included this SAR level, which gives you the, it looks like the body and the weight and everything that you might want to know about the, the phone. You can use it as a bookmark when you read your books. You get tons of stickers, really cool stickers. One plus stickers, never settle. Some text looking stickers, so smooth, never settle. My friends call me for tech support. It's kind of neat. Invitation letter. What is this? Oh, you get your SIM card ejector. What is this? And then you can read this if you want, but basically it is a letter from Peter Lau, how they started the company and stuff like that. Pause the video if you want. Quick start guide, safety information. And then also two screen film protectors. You can tell because there's a punch out in the hole there for the camera on the screen on both of these. So that's kind of nice that they added two of those. You get their warp charger. Things humongous. This doesn't bend at all. And then lastly, they do give you a case. The case is a, you know, just a bendy case, but it, I'm gonna put it on now because I don't have a case for this phone. So there you guys go. You can still see the beauty of the phone. And then lastly, their USB-C cord, which is USB-A on one side and then USB-C on the other. Also, since I purchased the OnePlus 8 Pro so quickly, and I was one of the first ones to get it, they actually gave some free gifts with the order. So I got this uh, OnePlus, wa OnePlus Warp Charge 30 wireless charger. It's their first wireless charger. It charges at 30 watts. You can charge from zero to 50% in 30 minutes. I will do a separate video on this and let you know my thoughts and if it's worth it. But I think this is like 80 bucks or something like that. I'd have to double check. But yeah, they're really cool that they included this. And they also included these headphones, earphones, whatever you want to call them. And they are the Bullets Wireless Z headphones, Bluetooth and brand new. Cool that they added all this stuff for free. Oh, one thing I didn't notice on the case, you can see it says never settle. And that's on the case. That's not on the phone. That's on the case that they include inside of the box. But I, like I said, I downloaded my apps. I haven't logged into all of them, but um, jumping around the phone, it is, if you've used a OnePlus phone, this is really, really snappy. It's definitely like super smooth phone. Let's go through the settings first, because the settings is gonna be important when you're, when you're playing with this phone because of the fact that this has a 2K display at 120 Hertz. So let's go into display right here. I have it set to adapted brightness. Also, if you go into advanced, you have resolution, so you can say I have it set to QHD. By default, they have it set to full HD plus. I changed it to QHD 
plus, which is gonna be, again, 2K plus resolution. And then refresh rate was set to 120 at 1080p. It stayed at 120 when I changed it over to QHD plus, and it's a gorgeous looking screen for the very, very short amount of time that I've been using this. I've been very impressed with the brightness and also just the, the quality of the display as well. When we go into, oh, the other thing you could see, I didn't do this front camera display area. You can set this, you can see it, you can see I, you can see the camera right there. I can set it so that it hides it. I don't like that. It does not bother me at all to see it and I'd rather have more screen real estate than anything else because you have, you, know, you have a large display. You wanna use the whole thing and I want it to cut off artificially. Also in display, I have it set to Vibrant Color Effect Pro so that you can see the Enhancement Engine dynamically optimizes video colors and contrast to make it more vivid. I love vivid display, so I kept it that way. Night mode, I thought that was gonna turn the screen dark. It does not, it just turns it to like that yellowish color to help you with your eyes so that it doesn't bother you at night. And what else did I wanna show you guys? The, oh, motion smoothing graphics. This is obviously, this is going to allow you in this mode, the video frame rate will be raised, reducing motion blur of the graphics, making it clearer and smoother, only effective during full screen playback. So basically it makes it look more smooth to kind of, it artificially does it to take advantage of that 120 Hertz display. And it only does it with certain apps. You can see more supported apps right here. By tapping that, it'll tell you uh, other apps that take advantage of it that you might not have installed. Let's take a step back and go into customization. Customization, you can change the wallpapers, you can change the clock style, you can change the fingerprint animation, which I did do, I changed it to that purplish looking color one. I like purple, so I chose that. Horizontal light, you can see right here, when you get certain, um, I guess this would be like notifications and things, it'll change that light. I'll change mine to purple, I'm gonna hit okay to that. Clock style, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Wallpapers, they have ones you can choose like shot on, people that shot uh, some photos on their OnePlus, you can choose those as wallpapers, or you can choose the default ones. Change your accent colors. Let's see, purple looking okay. Yeah. Yeah. Might just keep it at blue. Oh, maybe red. Yeah, let's do red. Tone in here, you can change the tone so you can make it more colorful or light or dark. So you have to change it in here for some reason when you want it to be dark and then hit that plus and it'll change it to a dark i love dark it's easier on your eyes better with battery life you can change your icons really quickly here too if you want to make them rounded or squared or rectangle icon packs again very easy to change them with the default launcher on here you don't have to download anything specific you can just go if you don't like the ones that they give you you can tap here and it, and it will bring you into the google play store to download more Icon packs, paid ones, free ones, whatever you want. Going into sounds and vibration, you can set Dolby Atmos. It's, I have it set to dynamic. I'll just keep it at that for this point. They do have live caption to automatically caption media if you want. Like if you're listening to something and you want to see what it, it says, it will have the AI automatically determine what's going on and say it for you. Buttons and gestures. You can see the alert slider. You can set it to different settings. So you can you know mute your, your your media or you can go in here and go to vibration, all this kind of stuff. You can customize all that. Navigation bar and gestures. I currently have it to the old school buttons. I've tried the navigation gestures where it's just, you know, you swipe up to go home and you swipe from the right to the left to go back and press up and hold to bring up your recent apps. I'm not a huge fan of it on Android. I don't know, it just doesn't seem as smooth as using these buttons down below. You can also customize your navigation buttons. You can swap the buttons, which I did. I set them up more like uh, Samsung has it, or you can do the home button. You can, right now, with a long press, it'll bring up your search assistant, or you can change it to something else. So there's like a lot of customizations in here that I wish manufacturers, uh, Samsung does a lot of these, but some of them they don't. I don't remember Samsung doing any of these. Maybe they do it with the, the Good Lock app, but there's just so many easy customizations built into the software here that can take advantage of uh, some things that you wanna change. It does have reverse charging, so if you wanna put something on the back of your device and charge it, it will do that. You just need to turn it on. And I also already got an update. Let me just see if there's any more. I don't think there's gonna be. Yeah, it already says up to date. So I already got, they, they did put out an update, like I said, which was awesome.
Next, let's jump into the camera. On the camera, you can see there's tons of stuff in here for the, what you wanna do. There's photos and there's portrait mode and there's nightscape and there's pro mode. So you have full control, that's what that's gonna do. You also have the ability to go into video, slow motion, panorama, time lapse, and then on the front camera, you're gonna have a lot of the same stuff as well for the video and the photos. And if you wanna change the settings for any of these, all you gotta do is you'll see in the, the top right settings, tap that, and you can go in here and change your video resolution. I currently have it set to 4K 60, but you see they have like cinema effects, so you can shoot in 21 by nine. And it tells you how much, um, how many megabytes it uses, you know, like per second or whatever, slow motion, you can change that as well if you want. And tons of, of, of settings everywhere within this software. All right, so now I'm gonna show you some photos and videos that I took with the OnePlus 8 Pro. This is a video front camera right now on the OnePlus 8 Pro. One thing I noticed, like some people have done videos with this phone and like the mics on this phone versus the last phone, which I don't have the last phone, so I can't do a comparison, but it's way better on the new phone. So I'm curious to see how this sounds. Uh, just me recording with this phone right now. Now I'm doing a video on the ultra wide angle camera right now, 4K 60 again, which is awesome because you can't shoot 4K 60 ultra wide angle on the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So I'm loving that they added that to this phone. Yes. And then a quick little video of my dog on the main camera. Both my dogs, Yoshi and Shoko. Next, let's check out a video and the sound of the speakers. I have everything maxed up. Let's play it. S Pen support. You wouldn't be able to use an S Pen on the new Galaxy Fold 2. The other thing I wanted to mention is this information comes from a guy named Ross Young. Probably definitely one at this point, as long as the price is in line with everything else. Now, he did go on to say in another tweet that he would have more information next week on the price. So I'm excited about that as well, specs. So we should know more about this even by next week as well, if these rumors that he's... And then here's a comparison with the Galaxy S20 Ultra speakers. Same as the Galaxy S20. Second would be the punch hole camera, which is awesome. It's gonna you know, take away a lot of the, uh, it'll give you more screen real estate and have look less. To me, it's, it's tough to notice a difference, but remember there is a price difference. This specific phone is $15.99. This is $9.99. So far, this is the most expensive OnePlus phone ever, but it's also the most specced out phone as well. It has anything and everything you could probably ever want in a smartphone. It's got IP68 dust and water resistance. It has wireless charging. It has reverse wireless charging. It doesn't have a headphone jack, but they, I don't think they've had a headphone jack for a while at this point. It's a great phone. So far, I mean, just using this for like two seconds. It's it's. 120 hertz 2k uh, plus display it's awesome guys it's a really really nice phone so if you want to pick up this phone it's linked down below thanks for watching see you down the road peace